for for right now, there's many 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 uh, this um, like the scholars will focus on using the quantum computing to solve real world problems. So there are many potential potential pro, uh, uh, real, real world applications can be used to solve by this uh, photonic quantum uh, this is, uh, the quantum platforms. And there are uh, oh, sorry, they are uh, typically have a, uh, like four systems. It's very very popular. Uh, recently, to 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 do this uh, quantum computing system like superconducting, iron chip, photon, uh, phot photonics, and the uh, neural atoms. And uh, what do we focus on? This is a photonic quantum, uh, photonic quantum, uh, quantum computing. Platforms. And um, I will first give some uh, some very background information. So we first use the uh, photons, and we can encode the information to our photons, like we encode the information in the polarization degree of photons, and we can create the photons as uh, qubits, uh, like, like in degree of freedom, uh, in the in the polarization degree degree of freedoms. And uh, also we can use some uh, a half wave plan or quarter wave plan to do the quantum gate, like a rotation of uh, the. Rotated this uh, polarization degree of freedom, uh, for freedom of photons to do to, to the quantum to, to, to the quantum gate operations, and finally we can measure this polarization or the photon or, or the photon numbers use the detectors, whatever it is a single photon detectors or, or photon number resolution detectors is, is okay. So typically in the photonic plat uh, photonic quantum computing platform. We have typically have these three modules to realize the whole processes, and uh, they, they, we will uh, emphasize the the advantages why we use the photons, the, uh, the the photonic platform. So first, it's very stable. So we know this um, the photons is very have have a very long coherent time. So isolated the uh, environment is very well. So it's very stable. And the second one is have a very e e e is a long distance communications because it's a fly cube. This is very important because uh, all, all, all of this, uh, like, like this four, four kind, four, four typical systems, only the, the, the all faces the problem of the scalabilities and to realize what we call is a quantum competition advantage. So may, maybe the, the distributed architecture is a good way to scale it up. And uh, because it's a photon as a, a, a flying qubits, it's a very easy to realize a long distance communication. So maybe the photonic system is a very good, because of this feature, this advantage, we can easily to scale up by these distributed architectures. And the, the third one is can the, the photonic uh, platform can work, work at, in the room temperature, at least for the photon source and the, and, and the uh, quantum, uh, quantum, quantum operation modules, they can work at the uh, room temperature, do not use the, uh, they use a very large dilution refrigerators, but only uh, right now this is a detector like single photon or, or the photon number resolution detectors like TS. They still need a dilution refrigerator, uh, only only in the detection part, and only maybe you can find some solution in the features to to avoid this. And the fourth it is uh, this is similar like the second one. It is cheap to launch this test because we already have um, existing this very connected this uh, fiber optical networks. So these are uh, the advantages of the of the photonic platforms. And then we will introducing some 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 specific algorithms like Gaussian Poisson sampling algorithms. What we can do on these um, uh, photonic platforms. So Gaussian Poisson sampling uh, algorithm is like a sampling algorithms. So sampling is very like these uh, classical situations like Dalton ball. Uh, we put a lot of um, small balls into this uh, Dalton ball, Dalton ball, and we, we, we can we can we all know that the, the, the distribution of this ball will give us a, a normal distribution. It's very easy. It's a very classical, very very, very classical phenomenon. And uh, in the in the in the in the in the photonic platform, we uh, replace the Dalton board with an interferometer match, like the multiple interferometers, and we send in photons into it. Because of this um, photon, photon will have some interference in the in, in, in some area, like in this max and interferometer. So it will give us some different uh, phenomenon compared with the classical one. And this phenomenon, like this, what we already studied well in the quantum war uh, papers, so it will give us some different like uh, photon photon number distributions at the end. So it will have some give give us some quantum features of that. 
So what is a Gaussian Poisson sampling? Is a, so it, 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 it is that we first prepare a Gaussian state, and uh, because of uh, photon is a bosonic, uh, so we first prepare using the photons uh, to prepare the Gaussian state, and then we sampling the photons from the Gaussian state. So uh, let's say the right hand picture, and uh, this ind indicated as how to uh, uh, prepare a Gaussian state. Uh, uh, so we, we first have some vacuums, nothing, and uh, uh, we first doing, uh, uh, do, doing some squeeze operations to create a single mode squeeze state. And we're sending this uh, single mode squeeze state into a multiple, multiple interferometers. Uh, like this M, 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 M by M linear optical network, they realize our uh, unitary transformations doing that. And then we also can do some like displacement operation, which I do not show in its figures. And all of these operations, we call this Gaussian operations, and we can prepare a state as a Gaussian state. And until here, we can prepare a Gaussian state, and then we use um, uh, detectors like this uh, TES or single photon detectors to detect the photon or the photon levels and do the sampling work. So this is basically what this Gaussian person sampling algorithm did. And, uh, and uh, most importantly here is this, uh, the, sampling, the, 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 the sampling results. Uh, other words, is a photon number distribution probability. It is difficult to calculate it compared with some classical one. So here, the, 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 the photon number distribution distribution probability is Related to the Hardian. So the Hardian is like a shell p-hard problem. It's difficult to, uh, to calculate in a classical way. And it also has some specific means. If we, I'm sorry, if we, uh, if we uh, uh, say, uh, if we, if we, if we say that here A, A matrix uh, A is a, a Jensen matrix of a graph, then the Hardian A will relate to the number of the pair of the perfect matching this graph. And uh, this, Gaussian person sampling already have shown some competi uh, competition advantage in some NISC uh, device. So there are two works, and this work is done by Zanudian, and this work is done by Ting Wei Pine in China, uh, USTC in China. They all realize a very large scale, and uh, Ting Wei Pine's work is, kind of, uh, is not probable. It's using um, a fixed, fixed interferometer, and Zanudian's one is. Mm, partially uh, probable, and both of them is, uh, achieved the competition advantage, is a um, very important work. And uh, because of this uh, uh, feature, we just uh, say, the, uh, say uh, about this halving, halving have some specific, specific physical means of that. So we can use this Gaussian person sampling to relate to some real, real world applications. So uh, because uh, we just mentioned that if A is related to a graph and is a, a a Jensen matrix of graph, so it relates to the number of the perfect, uh, pair of the perfect matches. Uh, what the perfect match here is, uh, for example, we have a four node graph, and all of the nodes have some potential link uh, connections, and only these three cases is a perfect match among this graph, a four node graph. So here, if you, if you calculate the half in A, it's only three, it means, uh, which means there's only three pair of the, uh, a possible pair of the perfect match here. So we can use these uh, features to do to 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 do some uh, to to solve some graph problems, and uh, we also can uh, use these features to uh, to to realize to solve some real world pro uh, applications. Uh, use 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 this graph graph modules and uh, mathematical modules as a as a bridge to link the Gaussian Poisson samplings and the real world problems. And uh, we have many applications, and most of them, I think, this um, is a uh, come up with the I cite a lot of papers from Senedid. This is very good. I follow uh, many works uh, from there. And there's some, uh, it is a shame that I cannot attend it in person. So I, I think I can visit this, uh, but I, maybe you can uh, find a chance in other time. Uh, so, uh, followed by this many uh, positive application theoretical work. We will come up with an, um, uh, a hardware, uh, what, what, what we call is a universal programmable uh, Gaussian Poisson sampling uh, hardware. And we will build a 32-mode um, universal programmable uh, Gaussian Poisson sampling machine with time encoding. 
And then we use a Gaussian Poisson sampling to finish this trick finding problems. Because of this, we, we can say have some uh, have some specific uh, uh, physical mean and features of a Harvinian. So Gaussian Poisson sampling can help us to um, uh, to 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 finish this trick finding problems better than some classical classical like the uniform uh, sampling. And then we can relate it to the uh, uh, click finding problems uh, to the molecular, molecular docking problems. Uh, by by linking with the uh, graph problems in the in, in, in the intermediate stage, and then we use this uh, based on the hardware we build, and uh, we're building a quantum inverse virtual screen platform, and then we demonstrated that it is a Gaussian Poisson sampling can apply to a real world problem, especially in the uh, drug discovery problems. And this paper is uh, published in last year on the Nature Computer Science in a joint work, work with uh, uh, Raj Patel, and he is a uh, uh, attended in person. Uh, okay, so it is our uh, uh, hardware platforms, and we call it Abacus. So Abacus is a kind of a uh, very traditional Chinese calculators, and it's like here, and we can use the fingers to 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 put this ball up and down to encode this number on it. So uh, we we can see there's a one ball in the in the in the uh, in the in the, uh, in the in the below layers. We can use one one ball in. in Indicate number one, and if it's three balls, in, indicate three. If it's five, we can use the up one. Then there's a ball in the up layer, so it's a fives. So we can use um, the, these these balls to to tune these balls to to in, encode the number on it. So here's a two, and this is a five plus four is nine. So it is a, a like a very very traditional, very simple, naive uh, programmable issues. So this um like this a. Uh, uh, abacus has the probabilities to encode the arbitrary numbers on that, so, so we can do the calculations. So uh, why we use abacus to name our quantum hardware because we want to emphasize is universal probabilities. So you, the universal means here is um, this is a, a time being loop here. We can send a lot of time beings and 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 and, and, and there will these time being sequences will influence this uh, lot of uh, lot, lot, lot of loops here. And this is a too fast EOM can tune the tune the the, the phase and the and as a and as a polarization spin uh, in a in a uh, in a in a max max So this part is equivalent to like uh, the, the 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 mesh here. This, so it is like it like 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 one 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 module here is it, it is equivalent to the mass and interferometers. So this maybe is more indicatable because it is a two D platform and the always maybe a little bit uh, more uh, difficult to understand because there's a loop structures. So if we have enough loop like a, a m a m loop, so we can uh, realize m m m port um, uh, interferometers. So here we use a, a computer controlled EOM here to 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 re realize the fully control fully control of this uh, uh, interference. That means we can encode the arbitrary unitary operations here. And that, that means that this part is equivalent to uh, this one. So arbitrary unitary transformation can be encoded into this. So this is one kind of this we call this programmability. And uh, this and and the, and the, and the other in the other side we can uh, use this UN to control the pump line uh, uh, intensity and send into the nonlinear waveguide and this means we can tune arbitrary squeezing level of the squeeze state we want to compare so this was so 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 for right now we can uh, not only tune the tune the unitary uh, the, the parameters in the unitary and we also can control the squeezing methods so. Uh, oh, we, we can we can so if we can control all these parameters, so then we call this universal program. And and until this, because we can both control or oh, uh, freely adjust the squeezing level R and unitary matrix, and then we can save any. Uh, I mean, I mean we, we we can encode arbitrary uh, adjacent matrix of the graph into this uh, Gaussian Boson sampling device, and then they will allow us to save the real world applications. So, uh, so there's uh, several modules. There's a um, uh, squeeze, uh, there's a uh, squeeze day source and the interferometer. And here is, is a detection. We only here we only use a single nanowire 
uh, uh, superconducting photon detectors here, single photon detectors here. So, um, uh, because uh, in, in graph problems, the, the single, uh, single photon detector is enough here. Uh, so, uh, we, we then use an arbitrary 32 node on direct graph to test the capability of the abacus. So, we uh, first random generated the 32 node on direct graph, and we calculate its adjacent matrix. And we just use a simple scaling of this matrix and encode this matrix uh, into this uh, GPS, GPS device by like single, single valid compensation as a U and R. So uh, we can say if we can get a, 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 a graph and then find this adjacent matrix and then use a decomposition algorithm, we can find all the information like U and R, which we need to encode it in, in, into the Gaussian burn sampling device. And then we perform the Gaussian sampling experiment and do the, uh, get the sampling results. And then we use these sampling results uh, and uh, assist with some post processing. And we can find the maximum weighted clicks and uh, with a, a much uh, higher probability compared with some classical methods like the graph indicated here. So the yellow bars is we just use some classical um, uh, uniform, uniform sampling. Uh, algorithms uh, performed on this graph, or, or we say just random select nodes of, 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 on the graph. And the, and, the, and the red one is a maximum weighted click. We, we, we calculate to use this Gaussian person sampling uh, experiment results as C to find that. And, uh, and here is related to this, this click, like the maximum weighted subgraph here, have a much more like higher uh, high probability compared with this uh, you use the classical one. So this gives us some, another kind of the quantum advantage using some Gaussian person sampling, but not the computational advantage, only some like precision, still have some, some, uh, some other advantage you can get using uh, quantum algorithms. And then we want to use this uh, graph graph problems to through some, uh, some, some real world real world applications. Here, I just follow the synergies uh, in the, the papers in the 2018 uh, to do the molecular docking progress. So mo molecular docking progress is a key uh, procedure in the, in the, in the, in the drug, drug discovery. You can see if we have a, a ligand, we can see there's a small molecular used for drug. And there's a receptor database is a lot of like this uh, virus, uh, big, big protein uh, molecular. And we, 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 we want to screen this a uh, lot of the, this uh, data, uh, that database. And for each, each time, we can, we can module the ligand uh, and the receptor as a graph. So for example, we uh, module up uh, this ligand as a four node graph, and here is eight node graph. And then we, we, can, we can use these two graphs to con construct a binary interaction graph. So there's 32 node graphs. And because of the Gaussian for the sampling, because it's, a, I'm sorry, it's a, universal probability of our the Gaussian person sampling device, we can encode this uh, by the interaction graph in the, in, into this, uh, our, our, our GBS device. And then we can get some sampling results and use some post-processing uh, like local searchings, and then we'll find the final results uh, about this maximum weighted click like we indicated here. It has a um, higher probability with some, compared with some uh, classical methods. And this maximum weight click can directly indicate the best uh, docking, the docking pairs of the two molecular. So it, it is important. Uh, and the most like the computational resource consumable parts in the drug discovery. So this part can be uh, used as a um, uh, uh, device, uh, and specific uh, GBS algorithms to help to do them, help in the drug discovery. So we here we use uh, two specific um, examples, and the one is uh, we use some uh, some 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 like uh, PAPRCQ. It is um, uh, it, it is uh, it is it is some uh, some molecular we can uh, promise a candidate for the anti cancer drugs, and uh, we const uh, we use this to construct uh, twenty eight modes and find the maximum with clicks, and uh, finally we get this uh, uh, three hundred forty seven samples sampling data from Gaussian burn sampling base, and uh, you saw 100 iterations of the local research. So it is some, some processing like in, in these procedures. And uh, finally, we find the results. And the, we can see the maximum weighted peak, uh, the results occupy most uh, populations here. So that means we can 
we can we can find this maximum weighted uh, uh, clique with a high probability, and then we can uh, find some best docking uh, pulse here. And this is an, then there's a, uh, the cases is a taste TS uh, related to some inflammatory uh, uh, diseases is uh, we can do 24 nodes and similar procedures and we can similar similar uh, resources and uh, and the demonstrate uh, this um, they, they, this uh, the Gaussian Poisson sample algorithm can be used as a molecular docking like what we demo in the in the theoretical paper that's ended up published and uh, also we find that this this graph problems are uh, based uh, based on this uh, quantum assess Assisted way can also use to predict RNA folding. So the RNA folding is also very important in some uh, recent drug discovery uh, uh, companies because this uh, the molecular docking is based on the two molecular docking with some 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 protein based uh, protein based um, uh, drugs. So if we have some new drugs, it, it is related to the RNA jog. So, so, so uh, predicting the RNA fold is very important, like what the, the, the alpha fold did. So here we first use uh, uh, our applicants, uh, this, uh, this, this GBS sampler device uh, to do the, to do the, to, to predict the RNA foldings. And this work is a uh, uh, collaborate with uh, George Institute and, and, and uh, uh, technology in US. And uh, here uh, we, we, we can, we can, we can, First module then are the sequences uh, as a as a graph, and then we find the maximum weight, weighted cliques uh, in this graph, and this clique can help us to identify the uh, the, 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 the 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 folding uh, folding features of this RNA. Like here is um we find this clique is a maximum weight clique, and then maybe uh, I'm sorry uh, this node is. Uh, green, uh, uh, the, the dark green node is indicated this area of this, uh, like, like this uh, two, 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 uh, two, 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 uh, this node need to be connected and then like the yellow one indicated this pair uh, need to be uh, connected. So uh, if you find the, find the, the, the maximum weighted click in this graph constituted by the RNA sequences, we can use it to predict RNA foldings. So we use two examples to, to RNA sequences to do that and we find the results. And then we also, we, we also compare with some, uh, some uh, uh, virtual um, uh, classical commercial, uh, commercialized uh, software and we find our GPS is very reliable and even better than the class one. And here it is like this, uh, it, it is uh, this AB a sequence indicated here. And th this is reference to the ideal one, and it is our GPS resource, and I would say it's identical to the reference one, but we use a third resource, and the problem is uh, this come from the two commercialized uh, uh, the, 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 the folding software, and uh, this have a, have a little bit difference compared with the ideal one, but the Gaussian Boson sampling resource did the best. And the second cases, we find that the Gaussian Boson sampling have some a uh, little bit uh, a difference with the ideal one, but still, uh, better, better. Uh, I, I'm sorry, I not, I do not show the I of fidelity here, but uh, we, we show this in the in our paper in the, the supplementary material, and it, it is still uh, a little bit better than this uh, for the results and 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 and, and, and this RNA problem results. So it is uh, our our new 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 methods to use this Gaussian Boson sampling to the RNA folding one. And uh, what we want to consider is because we first want to show uh, our our uh, our uh, photonic com uh, quantum computing platform and can apply this and can 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 uh, can real uh, realize the Gaussian Poisson sample algorithms and uh, because we, we want to achieve the universal probability to can uh, to solve many uh, real world problems. But right now we still do not uh, achieve the quantum computation advantage because it's, it's, the, 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 the platform is very lossy because uh, here we can say we need to do um, uh, many, many uh, loops into these loop structures. So there are many uh, parts like the, uh, the fiber coupling here and the EOM the for, for you itself will give us some lossy. Maybe uh, here this, one loop will maybe will 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 achieve like this um 
83% transmission rates. So if we uh, need to uh, encode the 32, 32. Sorry, uh, you need to uh, finish pretty soon. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, uh, oh, thank you, yeah. Okay, uh, I'll do the quick. So this uh, is very lossy, uh, simply. So uh, we, so uh, uh, recent papers show that uh, the, 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 the lossy will reduce the complexities. So what, 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 what we can do is we first reducing the errors by some hardware as a, improve the hard, uh, efforts to improve the hardware. And otherwise it was uh, scaling the platforms while uh, maintaining this universal programmability. Maybe we need to achieve like this thousand, thousand, or hundred or even thousand modes that will achieve the utility quantum uh, continuum advantage. And we, in, in our future, we plan to build uh, like this uh, four-star quantum computer platforms. And what do we achieve now? And, uh, and here we want to develop some more algorithms in the features. Uh, and, uh, and we also, in hardware, we want to scaling up our uh, up uh, hardware uh, to more than 100 modes. For, 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 for near term and maintain its uh, universal program uh, pro programmability features. And then we introduce a nonlinear and optical neural network. And finally, maybe in the five or 10 years later, we achieved, we, we want to achieve the universal quantum which is, is our, our enhance for our expert work. And, uh, and, and uh, back to home, this we first realized Gaussian point sampling and we use the time being encodings to to, to do the GBS and uh, uh, offer some many advantages. And uh, we, because of uh, universal programming features, we can uh, encode many different uh, different graph problems and through the real world, real world applications. And uh, for uh, the final loss, it's a big, a big enemies to, to further scale it up. And furthermore, in the future, we will maybe use uh, error mitigation corrections in the practical computers. So thank you very much uh, for, for listening and uh, when I, you can have any questions, yeah. Thank you. Um, now, um, questions?